Hey guys, this is Echo X, and right now in this video, I'm going to go over um, classes. And we're for right now, we're pretty much done with the user control and the property page. So I've decided to move on onto something else with the classes, and then we're going to go, I believe, into the um, TCP IP windsock. And the reason I'm kind of laying this out like this is, is because I've already pretty much shown the general generalization of this stuff and it really up from anything else than that um, you'd have to comment or reply and I'll show some other videos for it but other than that I think we're pretty much done with the user control and property page so I'm moving on so we're going to start with the standard exe and hit open over here I'm going to right click and add a class Sorry, I had a yawn for a moment. Okay, so go to class module, hit open. And we're going to start coding. Option explicit. Now, we have to use everything public here. Um, if we don't, uh, in this example, I won't be able to use this class. Now, we can use private, um, but for this example, we're going to use public. So if you're wondering why I'm just using public for everything, you'll see in a minute. The other thing is, uh, important note is you cannot create a public user defined type. So if I start with a user defined type here, <laughs> good yawn. Well, well, if I run the program, it's going to say can't have public. Now, if we're going to use a public type, we need to bring out the um, regular module, or you need to put it in your form. Um, so just so you know, the user-defined types is going to have to be in a module. It's not going to be in the class. Um, so I had to get that kind of out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and start. So we're going to go with public, string whatever, as string. And then we're going to start with the... Um, we're going to make our own little method inside this class, which is basically just a sub, because I talked about how to make methods in it for the user control. So a public sub, um, just put message box whatever as string. Oh, whoops, I'm thinking functions. <laughs> just hit enter. Okay. Now we're going to put some code here. If um, string whatever equals whatever, then in diff message box whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just think of the dumbest things, but hey, this is just an example. So now we've got these two things. Go ahead and close this, and we're gonna go straight to the form code. <sighs> Got another yawn. <laughs> and we don't really need an option explicit here, but we do need a form load. Yeah, the reason I have the option explicit, I'll show you in just a moment. Okay. So we want to create an instance. Now, an instance is like a copy of this class. We're going to go ahead and assign it. To a variable so we're going to use since we're in the form load we use dim remember that dim and then we're just going to call it uh, class prefix whatever as new class one if you don't put as new class one what's going to happen is you're just tying to one class and you can't create the class multiple times. If you're not going to create class multiple times, I don't know why you're even using class code. Um, unless you want to put it in your module or something. So, we've got that. Now, how do we use this thing? Now, since what was declared inside is public, we can access it. See? There's my method. <sighs> on out and there's my string whatever so since it's going to initialize at nothing we need to say it is something so we can run the method now call class whatever 
dot um, message box, whatever. So it's gonna go to that sub, and that sub's gonna say if whatever, if string whatever equals whatever, um, the message box whatever with the explanation point. So we're gonna go ahead and run this, and it works. So now you're gonna wonder, okay, why do we have a class? Oh, we've been using about these user controls. Let me out yawn for a second. Yeah, okay. With a class, um, you can make things that aren't visually there. So, with a user control, we could just use a control array, kind of what I showed earlier, for making video games. But with a class, if you can't visually see it there, you can create multiple instances of it um, you can use variables whatever and this would be kind of nice to use for also a video game um, I'm not going to show any uses in it for right now other than I just kind of describe instead of using the user control for whatever reason you're not going to use a class uh, it's easy to program with just put the publics in there use the privates within the class whenever you need to and just create a new instance of it so we could have uh, variables for employees, create new ones, and then say this employee equals this, this other class employee equals this, and so forth. And then we can even put them in a collection, because I talked about collections in another video, and we can loop through this information and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, going through all these videos is just going to make me more and more advanced, and it's just going to come out well for both of us because um, I'm happy in doing this and then we're going to be moving on to the next class thing going with with events um, that will be in the next video and hopefully we'll be moving on to the TS TCP IP winch sock very soon um, maybe that will be in the next video after that so I'm going to cut it off for now please send me a comment apply something because when you do it makes me want to do these videos and we can go over something different um, thank you for now